Okay, hello everyone, it's Mika here and in this video we will take a look at the new force object no, Objects um, that were added in the previous update and you can find them from the special and Just beneath the magnetic force there's now push force and rotator um, Force rotate yeah force push and force rotate and let's start with the force rotate uh, force push first Let's find something to push around. Uh, this rock will do. And let's check the properties. Here we need to choose an obstacle that we uh, want to actually push around. So choose this rock. And let's pump up the push force to 250. And now we should have a levitating rock. Oh no, no, not like that. That's actually just static rock. We need to set the physics on also. Uh, if we want <laughs> want to be able to push it around So now yes, that's more like it now. We have a rock that tries to go up as the push uh, force will uh, give it a um, Give the force uh, the, the direction of the arrow in the icon and If I actually move the icon here it actually um, The force is applied to the position of the icon so if the icon is over this side and it will actually turn the rock around a little bit and if it's on this side yeah you guessed it it will oh I thought it was, it was gonna crush me no still alive let's Oi! yeah that's more like it I want some brutality in this video everything is else and there's more violence I don't know <laughs> um, and what else of course you can rotate it around so we have one uh, directed over here it should now kind of drag it around <laughs> yeah we can actually make a rocket rocket out of this rock Let's turn it around see how that works uh, More up, maybe. Okay, something like that. And you can also have a multiple force object mm, targeted to one obstacle. So if I duplicate this one, and if I put them like this, we will actually get a fierce, fierce <laughs> rotation force just by using these two. Yeah. And let's try the rocket one more time, like this. Now this should be like tracking the force, or tracking the rock. Mm. It's not easy to get it fly straight. One more time. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Little weird, but it works. And that's the very basics uh, of the force push. Let's go to the next one. Next, we have um, force rotate, which works pretty similarly. Basically, you can only choose a target and add it to add it some angular force, which will now okay. <laughs> the rock is way too heavy. Let's use something more, more wheel, wheel like, uh, like this one. Yes, that's good. Maybe not so much force this time. And let's set the physics on this obstacle. Yeah, a little bit more down. Ten is fine. And that's that's how the angular force works, or the force rotation. Let's cover this a few times. Let's see how it works. Yeah, pretty fun. And that's all I have for you today. Um, as I maybe have 
maybe mentioned before. Uh, there's, there, I have made uh, more of these, or there are more video tutorials that I have made in the past. Uh, there's a link in the description to the playlist that has all of them, because if this is the first video tutorial you're watching, it might not be the uh, most relevant one. There are more cool ones, like how to how to make a card tutorial and and stuff like that. Um, and I have, I have played <laughs> played your levels, and it's really cool to see uh, how creative people are and how how you have actually um, taken control of this editor tool, because this is actually the same tool that was used to create all the Badland levels. Maybe a little bit uh, fancier version of that one, but pretty pretty much the same. And yeah, I guess I see you in the next video, so goodbye.